Hello, everybody. I hope you're doing well today. It is May 24th, it's Tuesday, and you're here at the weekly community call for chaos. I'm Elizabeth Barron. I am the chaos community manager. I'm really happy to see everybody here. I hope everyone's doing all right. Um, let's get to it. There we go. All right. Uh, if you've not added your name, please do so if you feel like it. Um, cause we would just love to kind of keep track of who comes to the meetings, how many people, if they're, you know, thriving or if they're waxing or waning, I don't know. Um, so yeah, so that's the only reason we don't, we don't keep track of to, to like track you down and ask you why you're not attending the meetings. We don't do that. So just so you know, and also we always say it, I'll say it again. Every time you don't have to turn your camera on, you can leave it off. That's totally fine. You can just chat in the chat to the side of Zoom or above, wherever it shows up for you. Um, that's also great. We don't care. We're super chill here. So let's jump into the, our agenda here. Um, the very first one, I, Ruth, I put this on here on your behalf. <laughs> I don't know if you want it on here, but I put it on there yeah, in case you wanted to say anything. Yeah, we, we've made like some updates the last week. Um, you can navigate to the doc. Let me just show them. Yep. Uh, so we kind of like to cut the timing for this and Iron and this breath. We, you know, worked on like, oh, I forgot to put the link there, the Google form link, but I should put it in very soon. For the link, we're using Google Forms like register for um to get like attendees emails and then raising zoom for the platform and i opened up an issue on the github repo for um, the github folks to add it to their website so yep this is the issue and i think they should add it to their website i'm going to update this um flyer because like the particular date is not there i'm going to update it this evening so i'm going to update it and it is that issue so yeah, um, they should add it to their uh, website to so follow up on that as well. And yep, and then we have uh, Matthew, uh, if you scroll down, Matthew volunteered to do the slides. Uh, yeah, slide share. That one, yes. So Matthew worked on the slides yesterday. Um, so if you have any feedback, you can drop it in as a comment or feel free to edit. So I think most of all this stuff pulled was pulled from the from the burnout metric. So yeah, you feel free to add in stuff and yep, that's update. Amazing, amazing work. I'm really happy to see Matthew coming back around also. It's really good to see him. So this is really great work. Oh my gosh. Thank you so much, Ruth, for putting all this together. So June 17th is our, our date, right? Yep. So, so it won't be so it won't be June 2022 at 4 p.m. every day. No. Yeah, I, I'm going to update that. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> yeah, I would update it. I noticed it. <laughs> Was there a calendar entry? Did I miss that? No, it oh. was um, it, on the slides. It just says June 2022 at 4 p.m. Oh, probably because they hadn't picked a date yet. OK, perfect. Um, and this so central time, is that central US? Yeah, yeah, that's it. Central US. Actually, it, well, it says EST on the. And then is this? Slide. Yeah. That, that's something I have to update as well. Okay. Okay. Right. Thank you. Thank no, you. no problem. Yeah, because that would be only one o'clock Eastern if you're talking about Eastern US, because we're only at one hour ahead. But I don't know what ET is. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah, yeah, kind of time. <laughs> who knows what time? Like, what is time? We don't know. Oh, uh, I guess I guess I'm I'm looking at the slides pasted in the notes too, so they might be actually different than what's okay. on the slides. So Ruth will fix all that. She'll yeah. get it all together. Um, let me just put in here June 17th. And yeah, 
Yes, that's awesome. I, I will put that also in the newsletter and we can tweet that and mailing list all the good things. So, yep. Thank awesome. you. Awesome. Thanks, Ruth. Yay. I have a question. So, Ruth, how, how many people do you want to try to attend like from this call here? Everyone. Okay. <laughs> no problem. But yeah, like if you have the time, yeah, I would love you to uh see everyone there, especially folks from like DI. Okay. Room. No problem. Yeah. All right. I will say that's my wedding anniversary, so I'll do my best. We'll bring her along. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> All right. Um, okay. Thank you, Ruth. Any other questions or comments for Ruth? Okay, let's move on. Um, I put a reminder in here um, that you have less than a week now to um, submit something for ChaosCon EU, which is in September. Uh, I didn't even put a link here. I guess I should have. Let's see what, what it looks like. Um, here is the link where you can submit something. Here's all the information you need. And here are some suggested topics for you. If you are not sure you want to submit something, but you're not sure what, here's some ideas for you. And then you can submit your proposal right here. It's a Google form. If you cannot access Google, just send me an email, elizabeth at chaos.community, and send me all this information. And um, yeah, I'll get you in. I'll put you on the list of the submissions. Uh, these are what we're looking for. Lightning talk, a regular session, or a pre-recorded talk. So they're they're on the short side. Um, it's not, you know, a big thing. It's not a big, big commitment as far as time goes. So we hope that you will you will submit something. Uh, who has I, questions I, about that? Go ahead. Yeah, I saw you had like um, maybe chaos con meeting at the end of this meeting. Yes. Okay, because I um, I just looking at you show that I was thinking I probably need to reach out to the Linux Foundation to take a look at um, travel support scholarships that they provide. Okay. you know and like what the application process is again this year and then i'm wondering if if chaos might want to think about providing support as well yes let's talk later okay. after this meeting for sure okay because okay. we haven't really touched base with each other in a while on mm -mm. Still. no yeah. and now that it's getting yeah. like to submission time mm -hmm. i know that some people like submitting requires traveling often, and that can be a, a limitation. Yeah. Okay, cool. Anybody have questions about this? All right, cool. Well, let's move on then. So the next one is um, we have a large group of folks that are joining us or have already been here for a while and are continuing to join us um, for different uh, mentorship programs. And I just wanted to say congratulations to all of these wonderful people. We're so, so, so excited to have you on board. Um, in addition, we had so many great applicants. Oh my gosh, I wish we could have taken them all. Um, so if you are among those that applied but were not selected, we really hope that you stick around in chaos um, because we would love to have you and your contributions, whatever capacity that would be. We would really, really love that. So please consider that. Um, but yeah, here are the, our, our mentor, mentees, not our mentors, mentees, interns, students, um, whatever you want to call them, and this is what they're working on. So we have a lot of awesome projects, a lot of awesome work going on in chaos. If you're one of these people and you are here on the call, would you mind raising your hand with the little like quick raise hand button just so we can point you out? Okay, I see Anik on here. 
and Ruth, of course. Yeah, Love it. There he is. All right. Yay. So congrats to okay. everyone. Really happy. Anyone have any comments, questions, anything? Mm, super congratulations to everybody. Yeah. I agree with you, Elizabeth. There were so many um, excellent people who had yeah. had an interest and it just doesn't it just it, sometimes it just doesn't add up. Um, I do think we should probably reach out to the mentors to really make sure that everybody knows that the decisions have all been made and you know, everything's public now. Um, so anyway, we should make sure that that happens this week. Uh, do we do we have a way of reaching out to uh, some of the the people that submitted proposals that weren't selected just to thank them? Uh, I don't know that I have access to uh, email addresses for them, but there I had for the web base or for the web content and and knowledge base stuff. We had a lot of. Uh, proposals submitted and so many of them are good. I just, uh, I'd like to reach out to them and, and thank them all individually. So is there a way to do that? I doubt there's a way to do it through the Google system. Yeah. You fact, probably lose. Is there a, is the email in the proposal? Did they provide anything there? Uh, do we still have access to that or is that no. shut down? No. Didn't you download, no. don't you have well, one? We have our, uh, I've downloaded show everything, Elizabeth. I downloaded Sorry? them all. Oh yeah, you can. Yes, you you can show that. I was yeah, like, I was I thought you were going to the dashboard. dashboard. Oh, that's right. Oh, the, no. Yeah, the GitHub repo. Let's. Yeah. There should be. They are still in here. Okay, that perfect. Perfect. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Anything else? And then the, I think. We're tick, were you going to, did you do a PR on the, like we were going to consolidate the mentorship folders. I don't know if you're still there. Uh, sorry, PR for what? Weren't, weren't you going to consolidate the mentorship folder? No, I think it was Venu. Oh, oh, sorry. It was Venu. Never mind. <laughs> okay. Did you do the work that you don't know about? <laughs> <laughs> Matt, just giving people stuff they don't know about. That's funny. <laughs> <laughs> okay all right anything else to add uh is there a uh do we have a document where we're collecting the uh the notes from uh what went well for this and what we'd like to change for next year i don't think so but we should have that <laughs> so if you want to start one <laughs> knock yourself out. all right i will uh uh, what's the preferred format for that document? Is it a markdown in the community folder? Yeah, that's probably a good idea. Okay. So the, we're supposed to, so Venu is going to be putting in a pull request that is going to just create a folder called like mentorship. Uh -huh. <coughs> and then all of the markdowns will go in there. Yeah, all these. Okay. And so that you can probably just add the document that you're talking about to that folder. Okay. Yeah, there were a couple of things I noticed that we could we could make it run a little bit smoother next year if we uh, do some minor changes. Thanks, Kevin. Okay, let's go on. Um, oh, and just before we do that, before just in case someone's new to this meeting, um, because we are going to meet the chaos con committee, we usually take the last portion of this meeting and spend it on chaos con. So the community part of the meeting will go until half past. So we got about 10 minutes left and then we'll shut that meeting down and the chaos con people will just stick around. So that's how that works. Uh, I have a question. Can I ask? Of course. Uh, so like, uh, uh, the people who are not selected, can they also contribute to, to the project? Like, because they are not getting getting mentorship, but can they basically, uh, like, uh, as a non mentorship part, they can contribute to the project? A hundred percent. Yes, 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 yes. Uh, but like, how 
they can basically track the things going on because uh, because if uh, like the mentorship is going on and uh, people are like the men- the mentees are contributing so how can non mentorships uh, people can basically contribute so how can they basically track things up it's a really good question um who wants to answer that well I, I, so a lot of the i use a lot of the mentorship and mentee conversations um they should be happening in slack they should be happening in public channels so i mean it it would make sense that that you could just follow uh, through that. Like if there was a particular project that somebody was interested in. So if it was like website development, um, I think a lot of that conversation would probably happen in the website development meeting, which is on Thursday. I think it's on Thursday um, as an example. So I, I would suggest just kind of participating in that way in some of the, the public forums that we have. Because there's, I don't think there's anything. So, like, if if I was a mentor, or Sean's a mentor, Kevin's a mentor, like, we're happy to talk with anybody who has an interest in participating in in the particular things that we're working on. So, I would like to add. So, I know not everyone can make it to to all of the meetings. So, we we are kind of meeting heavy. That can be difficult. Uh, if, if uh, for the for the web content uh, or release and knowledge base uh, projects, if anyone is interested in that, you know, feel free to reach out to me on Slack, and I will I will do everything I can to uh, uh, ease the burden of getting involved. So we we definitely we definitely welcome your participation and would love to have you. And uh, uh, I'll leave it at that. Hello, Elizabeth, I don't know if I understood the question correctly. So were they asking like if a mentee is working on a particular set of tasks on a project, can uh, uh, someone else like a new person or someone who was not accepted contributed to that same task? I really yes. think if that is the case, then it will try to create a kind of uh, interference with the person who has been mentored, the, the mentee. Because this period of time, they have a set task, a goal, an objective at the end, and they will be evaluated as well. So it's something that the person who is working on that task uh, is given that space to think, to, to exercise their skills. We always have projects around, and even after the person <coughs> finishes uh, doing a, a, a I've just forgotten his name. Who work on the community handbook? He did a great job, and when he finished, Yorg, he could pick up on that. Or the student. Uh, that is that, uh, yeah. Oh my goodness! This hardworking guy. I've forgotten his name. Sorry about that. So we, it's always good to give that person the space to really focus on their set task, and because it also comes with a kind of evaluation to see the person' uh, con- unique contribution. So if there are a lot of things coming in at that time, it really would interfere. I mean, we, uh, it's always good to have contribution in the community. That's why we are open source, you know, but uh, to the, my honest opinion, we can work on something else and leave those people that space. Yeah, so Armstrong, I, I completely understand what you're saying. And uh, for the most part, I agree. Uh, but with the... Uh, with the website projects, the the knowledge base applications, and the uh, the community handbook work that's happening, we have multiple multiple projects that are all kind of being coordinated together. Uh, so it's not the it's not a task that can just be assigned to one person. Uh, the The scope of the work that we're doing uh, does require uh, multiple people and coordination between those people. So, okay. so I would say there's, for those projects, there's, there's definitely room for, for people to, to come in and participate. Uh, and, I, and I do realize that the, that the boundaries between that Google Summer of Code intern or the, the Google Summer of Docs intern and other volunteers may be a little bit blurry. 
uh, but I think because of the the scope of the project and the the level of coordination we need on this, it's it uh, it's it's probably the the reality of what we need to do for my project and for for those projects anyway. Yeah, I got your point. That's really a special case, and I mean, it's just for us and the the mentee to really define those boundaries and try to catch up. But I I agree with the, the point, the concern in that kind of project. Yeah, and just to add, I think, um, it, you know, if there is a case where there might be some overlap or some like bumping into boundaries and things, um, I think that's where the mentors can kind of step in and sort things out and coordinate a little bit, um, just mm -hmm. to kind of direct traffic, if you will, <laughs> and make sure that, you know, um, everybody has. I mean, uh, I was asking in because uh, many of the people like me uh, contributing contributed greatly in the project. So basically they tied up in the project. And uh, I think like making things open in the meetings uh, can basically increase the scope of the project and the imp improvements of in the project. So it would be helpful, like if the meetings would be <coughs> open or uh, the improvements happening uh, can be open. Yeah, the thing now is some of the mentee may want to protect their privacy in some areas. So we always want to respect that as well. For example, during feedback and some kind of uh, aspects in the, the mentoring program, if the mentee is not comfortable in some of those areas, then we cannot really impose on them. We really like to flow with a kind of uh, inclusivity. You understand what I mean? Uh, yeah, you may be right, but like in my case, uh, I was like basically uh, involved with Matt Kentu and uh, uh, Inoj in the project and we were doing meetings of the badging board and uh, unfortunately I was not selected, but yeah, so it, it was like the open meetings and we were impro making improvements in the uh, application and we have pretty much improvements there on so like uh, I felt that it must be accounted uh, that maybe uh, people who are not selected can also continue their contributions in the project. Absolutely. We welcome that 100%. Perhaps, perhaps we could have uh, the mentors for that project reach out to Ayush uh, and uh, give him some of the, the feedback he was requesting and, and maybe uh, see if there's anything we can do to to encourage him to continue working on that project. Is that possible? Yeah, it is, because I'm one of the mentors. <laughs> <laughs> so, oh, yes, hey, how's it going? Um, um, and Matt Cantu is as an informal mentor on that project as well. So, um, yeah, I mean, the, the team is working really well together. Maybe the roles will shift a little, um, but, yeah, I think it's definitely something that we would want to continue for sure. So. Thanks for asking, Ayush. No. Yeah, you. that was a good, that was a really good point. And Armstrong, I really appreciate your feedback also. And, and Kevin, of course, too. So thanks, guys. All right. Um, we're just about at time, but just real quickly, in case you didn't notice, if you are a mentor to one of these projects, you might have just gotten blasted with a ton of <laughs> a ton of calendar invites and um, email inbox. Sorry to you all, um, but we're gonna we we set or I set up a new calendar for just chaosy things like the mentorships, like when are evaluations due, what when are the dates of all of these things, and chaos con. I put in the dates of like when is our CFP done. When are we releasing the schedule? All of those things. So if you're working, the reason I tell you, it's it's not a, a calendar that really shows up anywhere. Um, we're doing it more of like, if you have an event or something that you want, that's chaos related, and you want to keep track of it, we can put it, um, if there's like deadlines and things before this project happens, just let me know. And I can set up, we have that separate calendar now. I can set it up and invite you. So you'll it'll show up on your personal calendar as a, a deadline that you want to keep track of. Yeah, so. I thank you for doing that, Elizabeth. Um, I'll, <laughs> You're and I'll just mention that on the last day, the deadline is 6 p.m. UTC, 
which is like 1 p.m. Central Time, I think. So just keep that in mind because I always try to get things in a day before the Google deadline because I have caught myself in that time trap in the past and don't want to do it again. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Totally get that. That's a great point. Um, so if anybody has questions on that, just just holler at me, yell at me on Slack. It's fine. We can chat about that. Um, and then finally, uh, Venya, I think this is about your ideas. Um, we are kind of tied on time today, and I think Georg is not feeling well, so I don't see yeah. him. Okay. I think us being tight on time works to our advantage. Okay. Is that okay to push this till next week? Is that all right? 100%. Um, okay. Honestly, I think uh, we have to have Georg for the conversation anyway, because we don't actually know what is being current. Well, you might actually, now that I think about it, duh, because you're operating it. Um, but I think the plan is to put forward what is being discussed about uses for the episodes after the fact. Yeah, and there really aren't any right, right yeah. now. Yeah. They just kind of go on the site and then they're done. Okay. A, so. greatest yeah. hit, a greatest hits album of some sort. <laughs> yeah, so I think just deliberating <clears throat> a little bit on what that looks like, because currently it's just wide open, which is why I feel comfortable talking about repurposing and content splintering. But I also think it's important that everyone involved in the Chaos Cast project does that. <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah. Would it be helpful if we set up a separate um, call with just like you and me and Georg and whoever else? Uh, I think Ruth had mentioned um, maybe some interest in kind of participating in this marketing branding conversation. Agreed. Talk and I think that um, it also applies to the website uh, group as well. Um, yeah. So I think that if we nest that conversation within the West website group, that would probably be the best Okay. Space for it because it does connect to the social media strategy and, um, yeah. Okay, let's put it on the agenda for the next web content. Maybe. Cool, cool, cool. Um, yeah, I need to figure out what that actually is. Sorry, I've been oh, all over the place the for so long. Yeah, I think the next one is Thursday. Yeah. It was brought up. Uh, oh, for something else. It's eight a.m. your time, Venya. Oh, okay. I will, I will, I will do it. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Um. Oh, wait, that's says 9 a.m. That's central, I think. Oh, she's mountain time, right? Yeah. Right, right, right. Okay. <coughs> time. Ugh. Excuse me. Sorry. I'm recovering from sickness, but yeah. See you Thursday then. All right. That sounds awesome. And there is also a web Slack if you're in that, I don't know, but uh -huh. that's where we started the conversation. Oh, 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 right. Okay. Yeah. As soon as those words came out of my mouth, I was like, yeah, I should think sometimes before I speak. Anyway, yeah, right. carry on. <laughs> All right. So um, if you're on the chaos con planning committee, please stick around. Everybody else, you are dismissed. Have an awesome rest of your day and we'll see you next time. Same time, same place. All that good stuff. Yeah, bye. And Venya, I'll ping you back in. Done. Anyway. <laughs> do you uh do you want to stop recording or keep recording? Maybe stop. Yeah.